Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of uh, July 10th through the 26th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I do want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. All right, guys, so I just want to apologize for getting these readings up uh, a little bit later than I normally would. I still I still wanted to post them, though. Um, they still can be very helpful um, with looking at the current and also the near future energies. I am focused on this week for you guys. So we have the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. So I could be reading for some Librans where maybe you have fire in your chart. Um, others, you could be dealing with a Leo and Aries or a Sagittarius. Libra. What does, okay. Leo, for some of you it's a Leo. We have strength. Cards are just flipping right out. There's the Six of Swords. Libra. Swords, interesting. Let's see. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Right. The Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. All right. So watch your other signs, Libra, because um, for this week's forecast, I did just get a lot of flippers, a lot of cards jumping out, which if you've been following me for a long time, you know that these are the cards that I find to be very significant. All right. So we have the Four of Wands. Wow, the Ace of Swords. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands, and if I keep going, okay, here is the Ace of Wands. Isn't this interesting? Wow, look at this. Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords. If I keep going, I have the Three of Wands, which is somebody at a distance. We have the King and the Queen of Swords in this spread, Libra which could be physical distance between you and your partner, but it also could be, if not physical, this is definitely emotional distance between you two. Um, you could have even broken up with this person, could be taking a break. Um, this is somebody who possibly you're both pissed off at one another, um, but somebody might have blocked the other person. They feel betrayed. They feel stabbed in the back. You might have cut somebody off with the Ace of Swords, but this is a cycle that's wrapping up. It's interesting how we have the Nine, the One, the Ten, the One. Very interesting. Um, and then the King and the Queen of Swords. So there's definitely distance between you and, a, and, a, and another person. If this is not a significant other this very well could be someone close to you so a best friend a family member something could have happened maybe you feel betrayed by this person you might be dealing with uh, a Gemini could be a Libra an Aquarius could be a Virgo uh, some of you are dealing with a Leo now, maybe the Queen of Wands, because we just seen the Queen of Swords. This could be another woman. Maybe there was like a third party interference, Libra. Doesn't have to be a Leo, really could be any sign, but the Queen of Wands can be the other woman. Uh, maybe someone was trying to juggle, but maybe they're married. Uh, this could be you, maybe you're married or maybe you're in a long-term relationship but there was this maybe outside uh, influence that has interfered with your relationship 
uh, the overall energy Libra for the week is the Hermit. So some of you are going to spend that time alone. Also, you know, if you are married, I see some of you taking a break. Hermit also represents enlightenment. So yeah, some of you are learning, could be learning, um, where you want to learn. You're seeking that wisdom. You're seeking that enlightenment or those answers. You want more information. You're trying to learn. Others, you're maybe trying to teach somebody. So, you know, if, if there was a Queen of Wands who maybe interfered with your relationship. You could be trying to teach your partner about this. You know, if it was just a friend, if it was nothing more, you know, maybe you're trying to communicate with this person, you're trying to teach them and inform them about what this really was. Maybe there was technically no physical cheating, no physical, could even be no emotion, no emotional cheating. Maybe this is just someone who is hanging around. I think that some of you Librans, you're trying to learn. Others, you're trying to teach. You're trying to maybe inform because someone is pissed off here. Um, and so you're trying to maybe shine a light on certain things. But I see here uh, at the bottom of the deck that somebody has blocked the other person with the nine of wands their walls are up with the ace of swords they cut this person off so you libra you could have blocked someone you could have cut someone off so it's almost like communication is just being blocked here at the moment you know so this is either you blocking this person or them blocking you they could have literally blocked you um blocked your phone number your your email locked you on social media. And so I see this really going a number of different ways. I think that those of you that are maybe, you could be legally separated from your partner. Some of you I can see here that a decision is needed in regards to a relationship. I, I'm definitely reading for some Libra and men where you don't know what to do. Those of you that are married or you've been with someone for a long time, I feel like with this energy, this week, you don't know what to do. You're afraid. I think you're afraid of losing this long-term relationship and you're afraid of moving on. But I think that with this energy here, you're you're also curious you're curious about the third person this person might only be considered a friend nothing more but this is you curious and you know you some of you do want to have fun you know it, it, it is fun it is exciting to get to know someone new and I think that some of you are thinking about this this is something that you do want you're considering should put it that way you're considering but i also see here that you don't want to lose the person you've been with for a long time so you're definitely torn you're definitely undecided i think there is a level of curiosity here but then you've also been with someone for many, many, many years. And I think that you're afraid to lose this person. And it could be that those of you that are married, it could be that you're staying together because, because of finances. And so maybe there is no love. Maybe it's just all... It could be financial, you know, maybe you married into money. I mean, it could be so many different things. Maybe you don't want to lose that. But then, you know, I do see some of you wanting to learn and wanting to explore possibly this third party, this, this friendship. You do have this karmic energy, though. 
You do have this karmic energy. We have strength um, with the two of pentacles mirroring it. Some of you definitely might be afraid of going with the flow. If you're single, if you're single and there is no relationship, I think that this is a, this is fear, um, fear of exploring. I do see you wanting to get to know this person, definitely. I see you curious, but I see it really more of maybe checking them out online. If you guys have mutual friends, asking about them. Maybe you are trying to be more social with them, but I also see this fear, and I also see that it's a journey. So if this is someone new coming in, I see it more as a friend. If you're trying to reconcile with someone, I think it's going to take a little while. Uh, I definitely feel like it's not going to happen uh, overnight. It's definitely going to take a little while. Uh, either you're still a little fearful or they could be fearful especially if you're dealing with a Leo um, this person could have a lot on their plate maybe they work a lot maybe they're a business owner they might not have a lot of time to actually um, socialize that much they could be a loner you could be a loner um, or an old soul it doesn't always just uh, the hermit doesn't always just have to represent a loner um, this person might be an old soul you might be an old soul uh, Libra very reserved the quiet type um, but also someone might be a business owner they might not have a lot of time on their hands they might even travel for work so they don't have a lot of time they're juggling they've got multiple things going on this could be you this could be you with the king of swords um, the two of pentacles and the the ten of wands here um, for some of you you do have a cycle that's completing but you have a lot going on you have a lot going on could also be that some of you maybe take care of family. You have a lot of responsibilities. And you don't have a ton of time for maybe friends or a social life. And if you are a little bit of a hermit, I mean, this could be you just fearing getting out in public, you know, because of what's going on in the world. So some of you, this is a, this is some nervous energy here around maybe being around people. Maybe you are trying to talk to someone online instead. Um, video calls and things like that. So yeah, um, very interesting read. It, it is very specific. Uh, those of you dealing with two women, I think you have a decision to make. And this is in regards to um, a friend, someone new, versus maybe someone that you were with for a long time. Others, it's possible that somebody is trying to reconcile with you. Okay interesting we do have abundance libra enjoy the bounty of life your supply is unlimited blessings are coming to you beautiful yeah so you do have the ten of pentacles here you do have the two of pentacles we also have the four of wands so you know if you've you know had to play with money if you had to work two jobs whatever it may be if you felt out of balance or you know things haven't felt so stable and secure financially you have money coming in could be an inheritance um, for others you know your hard work is about to pay off you, you've taken on more responsibilities maybe some of you picked up a second job um, it's it's about to pay off you you have you have money you have abundance coming in but I think that some of you Librans, yes, financial. I think that this is financial. 
and you're about to feel more balanced and secure, definitely. Um, but I think that those of you that you're not choosing between two people, um, you're not married, and considering on maybe traveling outside of the relationship, uh, I see a new friendship coming in here. So some of you are making a new friend. This might be a friend for life. Um, even if you are single, and maybe if you do have a couple of options, I think that you will eventually make a, a choice and move forward. I think that some of you are gaining a new friend. Could be a new partner. And this is going to add to the abundance uh, in your life, Libra. You're, yeah, this is something to be thankful for. So yeah, this is, this is beautiful. It is a very specific read. Um, so I hope that you found it helpful, Libra. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. Uh, over on Vimeo, I do have the July Love Taroscopes. If that's something that interests you, that link is below. All of my links are below. All right, guys, stay safe and have a blessed week. Take care.